Boyer's Kiss, the show you're about to see, was my first evening-length performance and my first attempt at adapting a graphic novel for the stage. Uh, this show debuted on April 12, 2018 at the New Hazlet Theater in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and was funded by the New Hazlet Theater's community-supported arts campaign and a generous grant from the Heinz Small Arts Initiative. The show stars Joanna Becker, Ryan Haggerty, and myself. Uh, you may notice that the art is a little bit harder to see in the second half of this video. It's because it was still in the penciling stage when the deadline for tech rolled around. Uh, <laughs> thanks are richly deserved by everyone who helped launch this show and realized my vision. Uh, Heidi Nagel, who was our production assistant and called the cues. Zachary Brown, who designed the uh, sound effects and most of the uh, soundscapes. Uh, and Antonio Coloratolo, who did the lighting. Um, the print version of this show is available at my web store at cantocomics.com. So, for now, please enjoy Where's Kiss? The saints keep her and usher her to divinity. While her body returns to corruption, may her spirit remain eternal in the bosom of the saints. Our daughter is now split from us, her spirit rising to divinity just as it descended at the beginning of the world. And under the rood, and under the eyes of its saints, I commit thee to soil, Felicia. Amen. 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 And now, Felicia, my child, you must go. Your sins have marked you and you are unfit for life among the living in Jacinto. You may take to the roads and beg alms, or you may go to the Oscularium a day up river and spend out your living death with others who have incurred the saint's wrath. It matters little to us, and you are condemned either way to suffer. I have so much to look forward to. Here you go. What's this? You will need the bowl for alms and the crutch for when your feet fail you. Mm. More unexpected joys. Oh, this is a living penance, Felicia. Uh-huh. I'll keep that in mind when my legs rot off. May the saints forgive your sins, my child. And yours, Father Rocco. You lecherous old fuck. Felicia! Oh, Julio. Wait, wait a moment. <laughs> Were you just gonna leave? Without, without saying goodbye? That's the custom. Well, um, I brought you some bread and a, uh, a, a cloak for your journey. Thank you, husband. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't come too close. I'm just going to set it down here, and then you can come and get that whenever. Julio, you slept next to me not two nights past. That was before. Before we found out that you are what you are. Keep your bread. But what will you eat? How will you live? What does it matter? I'm dead, Julio. Felicia! Felicia!
indeed. Voices? Did nothing on it, sister. Oh, blessed ones. Oh, beloved of Buer Below. Oh, osculari receivers of his kiss. We are here once more to offer praise to our friend and master. He whose blessing reminds us of our impermanence and that of all earthly things. Like he, we were expelled from the light, and like he, we are become kings in our vanishment. Our denial of the saints whose helping hands were absent as ever in our time of need allows us to live freely at last, to embrace our true nature, animal, filthy, and powerful. Where's favor forces our attention to our bodies, to their needs, rather than forcing us to deny them in favor of a hereafter that obliterates all we once were. Hello, sister. Have you come to join us in praise? Uh, I am. Um, uh... Answer truthfully, daughter of soil, and be welcome. Were you spurned by family and friends? Yes. Were you handed a crutch and told to rely upon unlikely charity? Yes. Were you, too, pronounced a sinner and buried because of Boer's blessing? Yes. Yes, I was. Then tell us all your names, sister in the dirt, and pronounce yourself beloved of our master below. I am Felicia of Jacinto, and I still live. Be welcome, Sister Felicia. Beloved, let us bring our new sibling into our bosom. <sniffs> oh, child of soil, this is our sacrament. <sniffs> our body is blessed by where to rejoin the earth, <coughs> mingling with the dirt to which they shall return. <coughs> it is this that shall anoint thee, Kassoff of Jacinto. Wear our kiss proudly, Felicia. What is to be done with that? Our kiss will anoint thy skin. Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, if you would live a life of begging and mockery, by all means, go, sister. But if you would stay amongst your kind and be treated at last as an equal, you must accept this sacrament. 
Oh. All right. Sister Felicia of Jacinto, Oscularia, daughter of soil, you have been kissed by Buer. After the death pronounced by the followers of the empty, rude, given new life, rejoice, beloved, for our number grows. Huzzah! We should be headed south. South, you say? Uh, southwest, specifically. I think. And presently we're riding off to the... East, sir. The, uh, the sun rises in the east. You don't say. Uh, we're gonna need to turn around. Sounds as though you're questioning my orders, son. What say you, Marcel? Uh -huh. My thoughts exactly. <clears throat> Soldiers of pagans follow their leader and their king to the death. <clears throat> well, sir, if we are to locate the offending Oscillari, we should probably not be retracing our steps. Uh, this doesn't look familiar. Didn't you? Well, it, it was night when we rode through, sir. Hmm. Let me see that map. So we are somewhere near here. Uh, ah, right, right. Uh, across the river. Uh, <laughs> ooh, huh. <laughs> mm, yes, yes, that's quite, and then, ooh, uh, uh, oh, oh, I grant that you may be right, Olivier. Oh, saddle up, men, and let's ride southwest. You know, Captain, there's really no shame in admitting fault when you've been corrected. Oh, I know, I know. I just got so caught up playing the leader, you see. Yeah. Good morning. <sighs> oh. oh, sister, you cut yourself. Uh, I didn't feel it. Oh, you must get a scene to right away and get a bandage on it. If you want to keep your foot, I mean. Why doesn't it hurt you, Henio? Oh, wow well, favor. But blessing or no, you should get that scene to. Go find Henriette the Jen. She picks you up. If you choose the green roots of the mandragora, it will slow down the infection. Ah, uh, your sanguinous humors should adjust and purge some of the cholera that has been causing this resurgence. Oh, thank you, Sister Henriette. Yeah, of course, brother. Uh, suffering does bring us closer. Uh, Henriette? Ah, a moment, please. 
Now, should you be able to collect some of that color in a bowl or a bottle, say, you should bring that to me right away. Be well, Paolo. Uh, be well. Now, newcomer, what seems to be the trouble? I, uh... Oh! <laughs> you should have said something, sister. Uh, uh, sister... Felicia, it doesn't hurt, it's just messy. Oh, that is one of the benefits of Blair's blessing. I won't feel pain anymore? Well, after a while, you won't feel anything at all in your extremities. You'll have to be very careful of yourself. If you're injured, the wound can easily become septic, and you will lose your foot or your hand. It's an embarrassing thing to have happen at the dinner table. Uh, is it considered a poor form to fish one's uh, finger out of the soup bowl? It is better to ask your neighbor to do it for you. Now. You'll need to change the dressings on this every morning until it is ill. Wash the bandages in clean water and then hang them to dry. Do you need rags? Uh, no, I have some in my hut. I can tell by the smoothness of your skin and the lack of calluses on your feet that you were blessed rather recently, Felicia. Where did you come from? Jacinto. It's a day's walk down river. Weren't you there at my induction? I have little use for such ceremony, I'm afraid. Too much dirt and spittle for you? Uh, if our condition is a blessing. I'm not certain I want Blair's favor. We have been sorely treated, certainly, but we were misused by men. No demon or saint lent their aid. Uh, how did you avoid being burned at the stake with talk like that, Henriette? I've learned when to hold my tongue, sister. One learns much at the festival. Oh, the, uh, the medical school up in the mountains. Where they cured the bleed? The same. Although, cured, perhaps, is not the word I would use. I'll tell you all about it sometime. Well, I suppose I'll be off. Uh, remember to change those dressings every day. And wash the wound in the river as well. Uh, it should heal nicely, as long as you keep it clean. Henriette, thank you. Ah, yes, yes, our suffering brings us closer together. No, thank you for having a sense of humor. There's too much prayer and not enough uh, laughter here for my taste. Good day, Felicia. Good day. Did you get to Henriette again, my dear? Uh, yes, Henio, thank you. Did you know she trained at the pestle? Uh, yes, and she's not like to let us forget it. I wonder how she ended up so far from there. Uh, not my tale to tell. Uh, but if you'd know, I reckon you can ask her. Uh, how long have you had the kiss, Felicia? Well, I first noticed it about two months before I was buried. I thought I'd been bitten by some vermin. I was bidden to visit the priest when it kept growing, and so... Oh, you were found out early. Ah, uh, many of us here hid Brails kiss for years before we were cast out. Oh, how lucky for me. Uh, if I'd have known it for a blessing, sister, I'd have been on the road before my first finger bounced into the fire. <laughs> Things are much better for us here. No hiding. Boyle and his messenger have saved us from suffering. Uh, Eugenio? What? You're dribbling. Oh. <laughs> 
Felicia. Oh, and Riette. Do not put too much weight on that foot yet. Oh. I know you cannot feel it, but the wound is most assuredly still there. I was thinking on you over at dinner. Uh, you cannot walk the fields or, or walk too much with your foot like that. Why? It will become infected and eventually fall off. Oh, well, I'm rather attached to this foot. <laughs> In hopes of keeping it this way. <coughs> I thought I would offer you uh, another way to contribute here. I see potential in you, mon cher. A potential to heal. I can teach you what I know of medicine if you can tend to some of my charges. Is it the man in the pit? Because I'll take my chances with the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, he has helpers enough to wipe him down. Uh, I have a patient who is just outside the village. Uh, he is mm, difficult in a number of ways, uh, but he is still suffering, both from the disease and from loneliness. So I rather doubt he would admit to the latter. I wonder if you might take over his care. How is he... Mm. Difficult. He is mm, difficult in his stubbornness, among other things. Why are we saying it's mm, difficult? How else would you say it? Uh, he is difficult. He is mm, difficult. <laughs> no, I do not hear the difference. <laughs> Never mind. Ah! Here is his hut. Um, I haven't agreed to this yet. You haven't? Huh. Well, I want you to meet him at the very least. Eben. Ah, you're still awake. What do you want? Even the more, please meet Felicia of Jacinto. She will be caring for you for a while. I never said I would do that. Better that you didn't, Felicia of Jacinto. I don't want to be cared for. <laughs> I suppose you would rather starve. I might deserve it. Now, what would your divine judge say to that? It is not your place to question his will, heathen. Exactement. Better to let us help you then. Heathen witch. So, how are your legs today, Eben? I'll let you know if they stop by. <laughs> oh, you find this amusing, Felicia? No, I, I'm sorry. No, it is right. Our troubles are entertainment for the host of jurors, and after all, a jester is funniest when he falls. You are indeed in a fine mood today, Eben. And you are still a butcher, Henriette. <laughs> Be that as it may, your infection has not advanced, mon malade. Mm, the judge is merciful. Be sure to eat and to drink water. I can do little else. I rather suppose it would be unrealistic of me to have expected you to collect any of the seepage from your sores. The only seepage you'll get from me is in the chamber pot. Yes, the obliging patient is truly the doctor's joy. I believe I will leave you two to get acquainted. I'll meet you outside after I dump his chamber pot, Felicia. I'm not going to leave me here alone with him, are you? If you feel threatened, just push him over. <laughs> <sighs> so.
So. So. Have you faith, young lady? Or have you given yourself to that ball of flesh in the pit? Or, worse yet, has Henriette won you over to her heresy? Oh. Lost. They put their spit on me, sure, and Henriette had some, said some mean things about the saints, but I'm still new here. I'm undecided. Hmm, that is wise. Will you help me to the window? Thank you. Those lost children in the pit think they've found an answer with that monstrosity. It's but an excuse to keep on living, a balm for their pride. Everyone seems to be getting on, getting along well enough here, Ibn. They will be judged with the rest of us, their souls in the hands of that monstrosity and their flesh under the doctor woman's knife. I am troubled by this. Be cautious, Felicia of Jacinto. A reckoning is coming. The divine judge, Al-Hadid, will pronounce verdict whether or not you believe in him. Uh-huh. I would like to be left alone now. All right. Good evening. You were right, Henriette. Of course. He is mm, difficult. <laughs> and bitter. But he is interesting. I had hoped you would say as much. He doesn't seem to care much for you, my friend. Some things can't be helped. And that is why I have asked you to take over his care. Ibn does not like that I have dispensed with the imaginary friends that uh, most seem to find them necessary. I need no judge or saint to guide me. As for Blair, I have seen him at work. Is that the one in the man the pit speaks of? The same. Who is he? A, a demon. The headmaster at the pestle summoned him to cure the bleed when I was a student there. But Buer only serves himself. The bleed returned and killed more and more until we, the students, devised a chemical cure. His blessing, if he did indeed cause it, is but a new moral imbalance that we cannot yet correct. Worshipping him is as useless as entreating the saints and possibly more dangerous. I've never seen a saint kill anything at mass. But here, here is where I will leave you. Night. Uh, you'll assume Ibn's scared tomorrow. Do I have a choice? Not really, if you'd become my apprentice. Then yes, I must. Oh, and uh, should you find any of his sores uh, ripping, you must collect that and bring it to me immediately. Must I? I 
don't suppose you'd le like to lecture me as well, would you? Eh, typical. Halt, Olivier, halt! Marcel, where are you going? Got a shit! <laughs> <sighs> he could have tended to this before we broke camp. Well, uh, the guts are kings over all men. So, seems we'll be here for a moment. Yes, sir. You seem knowledgeable, Olivier. Are you a lordling? Uh, yes, sir. A, a very minor one. Uh, my father is a duke in the east. I see. You should have gotten a commission, then. <laughs> I'm the fifth son, sir. It was either this or the monastery. Ah. So, why not the monastery? Do you find me ill-suited, Sir Urban? Oh, oh, no, 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 not at all. You've been a fine lieutenant. It's just, you know, you're small, you like books, you're uh, rather particular. What are you getting at, sir? You know, you seem well-made for a softer life among other men is what I mean. Are you trying to ask if I'm... Well, are you? Would that be a problem, Sir Urban? Oh, no, 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 not at all. You can fuck whatever you like as far as I'm concerned. Just, you know, don't come up to my tent flap in the middle of the night begging. Ugh. No and worries on that, double sir. for Marcel's tent for that matter. Oh, he's, he is doubly safe. <sighs> Are we really that repulsive? I'm afraid so, sir. <laughs> uh, I see. <clears throat> you know, Olivier, there was a time in my youth when I shared a tent <gasps> with I'm back! Oh. oh, I feel ten pounds lighter. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, okay, right then, uh, let's be off. Ho -ho. You miss me? <laughs> Not in the slightest. Brothers and sisters, anointed ones, beloved of Buer below, fear not that your flesh fails you. Despair not that the days depress you. Hate not the heart that hurts you. Does not the lamb stray from the herd, bay in the meadow? Does not the bee, lost from the hive, weep amongst the blossoms? Does not the wolf, separated from his pack, wail to the uncaring moon? We are even as they, beloved. Even now in the bosom of our kin, there are those whose hearts are pained by the loss of their former life and the betrayal of their erstwhile family. What do we do with this pain, beloved? Shall we turn it against ourselves? Nay, we live but once and then return to soil. Shall we turn it against those who have wronged us? I say unto you, my family, this way is also not right. Does the lamb bite the flock? Does the bee attack the hive? Does the wolf stalk the pack? There is not to be had from reprisals save the fleeting satisfaction of vengeance. Better say I, to howl alone than to slaughter your kin. 
but are still to seek a new pack, a new hive, a new flock, and welcome to it with open arms those who would join. Not to dwell in bitterness amongst the rocks and roots. Let us pray together. Oh, where this world is suffering, this life too brief, as we become like you, O oh master in the earth, grant us the strength to carry out our duties and the compassion to forgive those who have wronged us. Fiddling with your wounds will only make it worse. To accept all comers. We'll return to soil soon enough. Did you enjoy the sermon? I found it very inspiring. He has much to say, Eugenio. <laughs> yes, always. I can't always follow, but his voice is pleasant. <coughs> you know, Felicia, you're very comely, and I know that the blessing has changed me, but I'm still a man, and I think a good one at that, so tonight... I need to go, uh, Eugenio. Uh, oh, oh, but tonight... I may not be back before dinner. Would you save me a portion? Well, all right. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh. Well, that's not a no. didn't know any better. I forgive you. No, no. More snuggles. Goodbye, Julio. So, adding the element of fire, we can uh, remove the phlegmatic impurities in the sample and attain a purified, unadulterated dram of contagion. Why would you want that? An ingestion of a pure contagion will without fail in fact an host. Of course, but why? Uh, Henriette? There are uses. Such as? It is known that uh, Boer favors black bile as the medium of expression for his diseases. You learned that from the bleed, right? Correct. That was the most useful thing we learned about the demon when he manifested at the pistol. <coughs> uh, the ingestion of even a small amount of this serum will aggravate the gallbladder, creating the so-called uh, kisses on the skin. The infection will then spread to the extremities, causing the rot that attends our sickness. Henrietta, I would still know why you're making this. With that study and uh, careful observation, we will uh, never know how to defeat this disease. That's all for today. Uh, perhaps you should go check on our patients.
Good morning, Ibn. Oh, merciful are these. Ibn! My servant, divine and omniscient, have pity on your supplicants. Beloved judge, usher him into thy grace and be gentle with thy burden, and shall it be what, woman? You're all right? Uh, I'm still rotting from this supposed blessing, and my hands are useless hooks, but aside from that... What? You were face down on the ground. You've never seen someone pray before? Ah, uh, to your judge. Uh, he is your judge too, Felicia of Asinto. Sure. So clumsy. I suppose I should take your chamber pot and go to the well to fetch more no, water? No, not from the well. River water, please. This matters much to me. All right. Let me check your sores and I'll get your stupid river water. Does this hurt? Not for some time now. Uh, any pain at all? Nothing for over a year. So, you're a Moor. Was it the beard or the praying doll Hadid that gave me away? The praying. Beards are back in style this year. Ah. Uh. So, why are you here? Because I share your infirmity, but not your faith. No, I mean in this kingdom. Ah. I was a merchant before I became a cripple. I'd been trading in Pasians when this disease struck. My wives and children are still awaiting my return. Though more likely they think I've died in your godless land. But how did you come here? The Kingdom of Pages is still a week's hard ride away. Hmm. The good doctor can be blamed for that. Better yet? <sighs> Tell me. When I met her, she was tending a flock of Oscalare near Ob. The Greyfriars in charge of that colony were cruel. Crueler than most of their heathen breed. The things they did to those poor people and their children. Beastly, even for infidels. Henriette purchased several bottles of poison from me. Said it was for rats. And this is when I fell into a fever for several days. I suspect Henriette is responsible for this. When I regained my senses, the monks were all dead. Henriette had loaded me into a cart and headed southwest. She told me that the peasants had heard of her poisoning the monks and set upon the Oscularium. That night, I could see fires over the horizon. The illness that followed took my hands, and then my legs. Each time, Henriette saved me, so she would have a witness to her barbarity. And still, the disease advances. And so, here I am, Felicia, dying with the rest of you pagans awaiting my judgment. Saints, I'd be bitter too. You are bitter. I have nothing on you, Wormwood. I fear Henriette has more poisoning in mind. Possibly the well here, or Asinto. That's nonsense, Ibn. Is it? Uh, yes. She's been caring for you and the rest of us here since she arrived. And look, you're not poisoned. Believe what you will, child. She's killed before. I still insist on river water. Fine. You're wrong about Henriette. She's kind and good. 
maybe a little stuck up and her accent is hard to understand sometimes, but kind. We'll see, Felicia. We'll see. Henriette? Ah, start with me, my apprentice. What are you doing? What does it look like? Did you know Ibn back in Pagans? Well, yes, I rescued him. Is that his chamber pot? Why? It smells terrible. No, why did you rescue him? Well, Moors are not well liked in my country. Tolerated as merchants, certainly, for... How else would we get saffron? But distrusted. Is what he told me about the monks true? Where? We what? No, where means yes, where I come from. Yes, I poisoned the monks. <laughs> the Grey Friars were perverse, corrupt. They abused those with whose care they were trusted, and then presumed that their saints would forgive them. But there are no saints to forgive or to punish the wicked. Only corpses and stories. Yes, yes, so you keep telling me. The only judges of men are made of meat and bone like you and I. Henriette, I get it. You're godless. Great. I don't care. But how could you do such a thing? Don't you feel guilt? No. I did what needed to be done. I brought... Justice. And I will not hesitate to do so again. Justice doesn't come from the crutches of the small-minded. Uh, not from ignorance or superstition. As the humors in the body must be balanced, so must these scales. If no one else can be the balance against these, these vermin who have wronged you, wronged all of you, then I must. I hope you can see that my cause is righteous. I see that you're a poisoner, Henriette. I don't know what you plan to do to avenge whoever you think needs avenging here. I want no part of it. Then you shall have none. A, a righteous pass is best walked alone anyway. Now, oh, speaking of which, how is your foot? <sighs> We're in search of a village. Can you direct us? Jacinto is another hour's ride down river. Well, I said village, but what I meant was one of those oh, places... Oscularium! Yes! Most try to stay away from such places. Well, we were sent on a mission to find the person it's who poisoned the monks... It's your business, peasant! Oh, Olivier, rude! <laughs> The orders are secret, sir. Oh, right, right. Forgot. We must keep our own counsel on our own motives, peasant woman. Suffice to say, we are on a mission from the king of Pagans. Oh, yeah? And what do you plan to do when you reach this oscularium? Justice. The king's <laughs> justice. I can't help you, sirs. I live in solitude out here. Ask in Jacinto. Perhaps someone there can direct you. I see. Well, thank you for your limited assistance, peasant. A nice piece. <laughs> oh, sunnier climbs breed riper fruit, Marcel. Yeah. Henriette! 
Felicia. Soldiers from Pagans. They're looking for you. It took them long enough. I sent them to Jacinto, but they'll be back once they realize we need to hide you. We need to do no such thing. Cecilia, she is ready. What? At Cerebon. It occurs to me that peasant girl was lying. Olivier, I know you're a lordling, but peasants are just as trustworthy as the rest Sir, she was an Oscularius. What? How could you tell? Her foot was wrapped, her hair was matted, but she seemed well fed. She's... I'll say. <laughs> She's clearly a resident of the Oscularia. Why didn't you say something before? I suspected, but I did not want to mislead you, sir. Uh, look here, Olivier. It should be clear to you by now that I'm rather thick in the head. I can't read, and I'm bad at people. So, when you realize something like this, don't hold your tongue. Yes, sir. Marcel, you've never had any trouble speaking over me. What say you? The fairy's probably right. I didn't notice. Uh. I was looking at her breasts. <laughs> sir Bon, I really must protest here. I have tolerated your and Marcel's jibing for several months now. My preferences uh, clearly disturb you. Oh, relax, my young friend. It's all in good fun. Fun for whom, sir? I may be just unnatural, as you say, but I am still vulnerable to insult. I will desert this mission if this abuse continues. Why, Olivier, I had no idea our jest hurt you so. We like you quite a bit, Olivier. Isn't that right, Marcel? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You see, you're among friends. Our joking was well-intentioned, my dear Olivier. Now that we know you take such umbrage to it, we'll cease. The Lord Ferry. Ugh, Marcel! Uh, you were serious? <laughs> what kind of captain would I be if I didn't take my soldiers' requests to heart? An average one? Uh, no more jokes at poor Olivier's expense, Marcel. I... Well, thank you, Sir Urban. Uh, think nothing of it, my boy. Yeah, think nothing of it. Animal. Ugh. Roots and saints, what have I done to deserve this? About face, men, time to deliver the king's justice. Ah! Justice in a bottle, Felicia. This amount of contagion can infect every single soul in Jacinto. Why? Why would you want them to suffer like this? Because the saints and even Judge and the Bruer will not leave their damned temples because the justice of men only favors the status quo. Because women like you and I must bear the greater load of suffering. Henriette, please. They're children. Innocence. <laughs> but you are so naive, Cher. There are no innocents. That's... You're, you're wrong. You're mad. You can't do this! Then you are complicit in your own suffering, Felicia. And I will avenge you regardless! <laughs> my apologies, apprentice. You will see it my way in time. Maiden blush, turret, roses bush, glimmering in the sun. The lad's order got in her order to stood straight at attention. Barrowman! Sir! 
Sir, uh, yeah. Can you tell us who's in charge here? Why do you ask? We, we're on the king's business. Oh, the king's business. You say, let me lead you to him, good sirs. It's good to see agents of his majesty again. Before I was blessed, sirs, I fought in the prince's regiments against the heathens in the south. You don't say. Which detachment? The 53rd, sir. Oh, that was your assignment, wasn't it, Marcel? I don't remember anyone without a nose. Oh, I had a full face back then. And ten strong fingers. A fist and ten fingers. Uh, still nothing. Oh, no matter. You'll find her inside. I'll watch your horses for you. I'd hear your travels if you'd regale me after your meeting. Uh, thank you. No trouble at all. Oh, hello. Hello. Would you be <clears throat> so kind as to direct us towards your leader? I am here, child. You're the... Oh, the leader here. Each man is his own master in this oscularium, Sir Knight. Tell us your name. I am Urban of Troyes. Come closer then, Urban of Troyes, so that we may have a conversation without shouting. Be on your guard, Marcel. Will forgive us for not rising to meet you, but you see our uh, predicament. You'll find a ladder to the left. We had been told of your coming, Urban. How would that have been? The one you seek said that they would be pursued. Oh, <laughs> I see. And we had expected you somewhat sooner, to be honest, but it can be a very long journey. We were <laughs> lost for a while. <coughs> Do you want a blanket or something? <laughs> Why? To, you know, cover yourself. You look, uh, cold. Were you not taught that you were made in the image of the divine? So was I. But you're disgusting. <laughs> yes, well, divinity. I've lived with Boer's blessing for many years. You call this a blessing? Boer brings us closer through this disease. Who is this Boer? A spirit of the earth. Sir Urban, uh, Boer was a part of the demiurge at the beginning of days. He was a demon, sir. A demon? You're, you're demon worshippers? Call it what you will, Urban of Troyes. Boer embraced us while your priests and saints called us abomination and corpses. And while we have cleaved from your church, we bear you no grudge of your blasphemy, monster. <laughs> Marcel Olivier, kill these abominations. Aye! Aye. Tell us, or we'll burn your friends. 
is alive. Oh, he's just over in the... <coughs> Our quarry is within reach, men. for someone whose foot is about to fall off. I won't let you do this. You won't stop me. The injustices you and the other oscularity have suffered must be avenged. I don't want to be avenged. <laughs> don't be foolish. These people, they dispense with you. They, they cast you out. They buried you alive, Felicia. And for what? because they find reminders of their own mortality distasteful. They are squeamishness sent you and the rest out into the woods to die. Do you ever stop lecturing? If you spend half the time doctoring that you do listening to yourself talk, you'd have cured this disease ages ago. Let go. Oh. Do you think a cure would set things right? Did you ever kick a beggar? You mock, cripple, ignore the grieving. These are the strong, playing on the weak, crushing those who are already as dust. It is human nature that is a true illness. And I have made the cure. Shut up! How can you stand if you even hear the things you're saying? <laughs> Merciful Al Hadid, spare thy servant, divine and omniscient. Have pity on your. What woman? You dare. Ah. Oh. You're the more we were told of? Hmm, I suppose I must be. I have no treasures to steal. What do you want, heathen? Hey! Ah! Uh, put me down, dog! You are to come with us, more To stand! Sit, trial for your crimes against patience. Oh, your humor is as sharp as your perceptions, Ethan. Let, let go. Ow! Your judgment will likely be swift and almost certainly absolute. Oh, fuck, fuck your saints. I have heard more than enough heresy from you and your deformed friends this day more. Olivier, if you would. No, you godless. Uh, no. Sorry, sorry, I just have to. Uh, it's orders, I know. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Stop resisting! Uh, 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 Sir Urban, are you certain this is the Oscularius we seek? Didn't the orders say he was foreign to these lands? They don't get much more foreign than him. Shut up! Uh, 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 the orders also said the poisoner was a woman. Hmm. Poison is a woman's weapon, true. 
But no woman could have committed that level of slaughter. They're kind and gentle creatures. Not that you would know, Olivier, you unnatural thing. All right, enough. Uh, eh? The two of you can make your own way back to Pagans. I've had enough of your abuse. Oh, Olivier, be a man about it. No, Sir Urban, I am afraid not. I don't mind killing for my king. I don't mind being contradicted at every turn. But I will not tolerate derision from you two illiterate boars for a second longer. Oh. <laughs> Olivier, I understand you. You're sensitive. I know. I am too. You see, when I was a young man, a new recruit, not too different from yourself, there was another lad that I quite fancied in my unit. We were closer than brothers, if you catch my meaning in the tent. Captain, together. I know. We all know. I didn't know. Shut up, Marcel. If you weren't so ashamed of your own nature, you wouldn't abuse me so. Olivier, if other Knights of the Crowns find you for deserting, you can be slaughtered. They don't have to be a damn sight more able than you two dullards. Oh. Lord Barry, just call me a dullard. Uh, stand down, Marcel. <sighs> Good luck, assholes. You'll need it. Well, well, shall we uh, head east? Uh, seems right. Well, a, a, a quieter ride home, I'd imagine. Small blessings. Yeah. to make a lot of people sick. I hope you're happy. You saints damned monster! must reach Jacinto by nightfall. Oh, I, I shan't be but a moment. Alms? Oh. Alms for a oh. repentant sinner? Uh, driver, driver! Oh, please. Look at me, sir. I 
couldn't hurt you if I wanted to. Oh. Throw a couple of coins in the bowl here and I'll leave you to your business. Though it looks like you may have already finished. Uh, 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 My lord? Uh, you called for me? Uh, yes, there's... Uh, there was a woman here. Aye, is that why your hose are still down? Oh, don't be crude. She was sick, an oscularia. She must have wandered down from the village. Come now, doctor. It has been a very long ride from the pestle. And there are sick women aplenty in Jacinto. Ah, yes, they've been struck hard. <laughs> 